begun. I think I will roll you the sun, for it is too rough and too near, too bright-eyed for summer here. Its blaze shall brighten your shoulders of yesterday, release the snow's white hands that hold you. I roll you the sun, the memory of you still held within my body. I roll you the sun, O bird of moonlight, I roll you the sun, I roll you strive and struggle, I roll you let be, I roll you flicker and rattle, I roll you mercy. You taught me how to live this way, how to be prayer laden, how to be a flare of sorrow. So I roll you seam and sunder, and I roll you the sun. It's burned cradled in one hand, my yearn in the other. Before I knew you held up the sky instead of the human planet, I imagined the dark waves of your hair mingling with the sea, ghost nets as knots and plastics tangling your tides. We should never have called her Earth. She is a slipperiness rising, all swell and loss. But we are nothing if not efficient. We plunder her into collapse. Wind farms in the Irish sea look like whirling cues of that great expiry date to come, the lastness of the earthbound. Honeybees crash land by your feet. Pyrocene smoke and smolder nestle in your beard. Light pollution floods your chest. The moon stockpiles our rubbish too. I know how space acts like an ocean. It moves in ripple and sway, each particle and wave, all of its stars and flotsam. Supernova as beacon, Milky Way as shawl, comet as leaky vessel. The satellites are your sirens. You keep listening to their white noise, to their fake news. The dark matter of those stupid things we might say or do.
How do you truly articulate seismic loss? How sorrow lands in the body? How it changes shape? Ground as ash, whole animal cultures gone. Lament is a continual act, a fragile vocabulary. Emu wren, flying fox, platypus. Each day was a furnace, ferocious, scorched. Kangaroo, echidna, wombat. Staggering numbers, disturbing reports. Possum, honey eater, frog. Fire maps and ruination, an area larger than England. Koala, plant hopper, tree creeper. Flames crowned the canopies, smoke drifted to Chile. Potteroo, livestock, skink. Monstrous clouds, crimson sky. King parrot, cockatoo, rosella. Washed up on beaches, swathed in burnt leaves. Whip bird, robin, lorikeet. Bright plumage along the coastline. Aftermath transposed to dust storm, then pandemic, and still they fall. Wildlife in China from coronavirus disinfectants. Swarms of bats across Israel. Hundreds of elephants in Botswana. Hundreds of herons in Turkey. Hundreds of penguins in Brazil. Thousands of swallows and swifts in Greece. Thousands of seabirds in Scotland. Over a thousand dolphins in France. Hundreds of thousands of mussels in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Countless fish in Italy, Taiwan and Nigeria. Tons of them in other countries too. All snuffed out by indifference or blunder, by greed. They fall, keep falling. They disappear. This is where I come to exhale, at the road shoulder, where the rangers stand, animals still, where mountains were named by white men, as if they didn't already have them. Tanglefoot, Little Joe, Slide, Jerusalem. What are their Woiwurrung names? Why don't I know them? The stolen valley unfurls beneath me in all its pastoral glory. I can't look without thinking of trauma, Australia's and my own. And yet today it feels like I've wasted my life trying to find softer places to land. You recently wrote, home is not a physical place but an inner quality of acceptance. These words, when I read them, chimed like a Buddhist bell. All through the pandemic, you've been sending me photos of Moharau as if you were afraid I might forget what it looks like. But Sligo has tilled an obstinate desire line deep within me. I can close my eyes and conjure. Home was never a safe place, certainly not when I was young. I left my body so it could fend for itself. Much later, you called me the keeper of distance. 
We were still getting to know one another then. I was on my knees. I was trying my best to stand. But right now, at this road shoulder, rain is on its way. The sky is making love to her clouds. I'm speaking to country, and I know it listens. The mountains, the grasses, the trees, the winds, and creatures listen. I know each spirit listens. This communion is new to me. I'm tender with it, reverent. Somehow this feels like healing. Even so, I joke about how I'm only here until I win the lotto. And I've been mentally renovating that small cottage in Grange, painting its walls and replacing windows, putting down rugs and digging up the garden. I've been doing this all week to help me fall asleep. Belonging is never a snug fit. Blood dark and obstinate, heart close, unbound. Listen to its roar, its wren song, its howl, its hum. Here is its incomplete catalogue, part ache, part moonshine, part glue and tape, nexus of Tosca and lore. In one corner a child stands in the rain. In another, a corona of lurid light. Elsewhere, Moses is dividing his sea. Soak and salt versus scorch and sand. All of memory is missed. Every time I've loved you is logged here. Each time I lost you, I waited. I gave up. I took to a God-seared road. There is something about credence too, and something about shame, about the O oh in beloved, the He in thee, and each lilt and tilt, every glint and glitter, each covet, each fever, every jeer and gesture, all of my backtracks, all of my misfires, all deleted thoughts, each and every haste. As I was leaving, I turned to the rain and whispered, River of the phantom, road of the sprite, stream of the child, mountain of the women, rock of the men, and grave of the big man. I knew each well, but wished not to invoke them. Instead, I beseech the leap of the dog, peak of the cow, twist of the paw, curve of the plain, and arm of the sea. The rain cupped my words, so the wind could drink them. Little river, little lake of battle, small island, 
small mountain, little corner and little throat. Place name after place name, scattering their sound seeds. Hut of the whispering, nook of the sun, home of the thief, ridge of two demons, backside to the breeze and rock of the boat. Sonant by sonant, steeped with valediction. Valley of cloud, place of puddles, sleeve of storm, sweet stream, pasture of honey and well of milk. Each farewell, each pluck of feather, more of hens, lock of flocks, crag of the hawk, top of the world, height of crows and hill of ravens. As I was leaving, I turned to the rain and whispered, and the rain cupped my words, so the wind could drink them. <laughs>